Up until now, our VPN connections have been secured using the PSK, but in this lab, we're going to transition this to use the certificate authentication. So what I've done is I've installed the Windows Server with certificate authority role. Now it's ready to start servicing our certificate signing request. I'm going to start on FortiGate 1 and navigate down to system. The idea is to get the certificate signing request and the certificate signed by the CA. So we go to generate CSR, which is a certificate signing request, and I'm just going to call this FortiGate01. And the domain name, FortiGate01, I'll use the fully qualified domain name, FortiGate01 at .staticroute.io. I'm gonna copy this and paste in the subject alternative name because that's what I want to use. And the organizational unit, we're an IT department, ITS, IT services. The organization is static route. And the email address, I'm just gonna put here, fortigate01 at staticroute.io. And the password to protect the, PS, the, the private key. Just to simplify things. All right, our CSR is complete. Now it's ready for download. I'm just going to download that. And I'm going to do the same thing for Fortigate 2. I'm going to do the same thing for Fortigate 3. Now I have certificate signing requests from Fortigate 1, 2, and 3. I'm going to download all of them. Oh, I've already downloaded Fortigate 1. I'll download the one for Fortigate 2 and this one for Fortigate 3. Now we have all our certificate signing requests. Now it's time to request and issue the certificates. Let's start with Fortigate 1. I'm going to copy all of this. Go on to our CA, request a certificate, paste the CSR. and download the certificate in base64 format. All right, the new file for FortiGate 1 is cert new. I'm going to rename this to FortiGate01.cert. Then they repeat the process for FortiGate 2. Copy the content of the CSR. Request the certificate. Specify web server template. The FortiGate 2 certificate has been renamed as well. We do the same for FortiGate 3. Now we have our three certificates for FortiGate 1, FortiGate 2, and FortiGate 3. The last thing that I want to do is actually download the certificate of the certificate authority itself, meaning the CA certificate. And this I'm going to call DC01. CA. Now that we've got all our certificates, including the CA, it's time to now import the CA into all the firewalls. Starting with FortiGate 1, we go to Certificates, Import CA Certificate, we import this file, and OK. We go to FortiGate 2, we navigate to System and Certificates, and import the CA Certificate we locate our file and OK, and it's successful. We do the same thing for FortiGate 3. Another thing that I always like to do, um, let's have a look at our certificates now. Show VPN certificates, CA. The name here is CA cert underscore one. And you'll see it also when, let's maybe refresh here. It doesn't, this name doesn't make any sense. It's not intuitive at all. I, I want to rename this to DC01 so that it's a, 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 a meaningful name that makes sense to us. And to do that, we go to config VPN certificate CA. So the command is 
rename CA set to DC01. I'm just going to leave it at that. To DC01. Now on FortiGate 2, we do the same thing because the certificate is called the same thing. Rename CA set 1 to DC01. On to 48.3. Rename CA set to DC01. Okay, now that that is out of the way, the next thing is to import the certificates that we have been issued. And starting with 48.1, we import certificate. Import certificate. It's a local certificate and we're going to upload that certificate file that we got. That's 48 01. And the certificate has been successfully imported. We do the same thing on 48 2. We import the certificate. Import certificate. Navigate to the file. 48 02. Create and it's successful. We do the same thing for 48 3. Now at this point, all our firewalls have imported the CA certificate and all of them have been issued with the, um, the own server certificates. So now it's time to modify our VPN connection. We go into the VPN connection settings and we go to authentication. We change the appreciate key to signature and sig uh, certificate name. We're just gonna select our certificate that we just installed. That's looking good. And for the PS certificates, we don't have anything here at the moment, so we need to create one. So a nice thing about the public key infrastructure user here um, for certificate authentication is that you only actually have to specify one. So I'm going to call this, say, SR users. And I'm going to ignore the subject field and only specify the, the CA, which is DC01. If we leave it like this, if we don't specify the subject field or the common name or anything like that, basically it's going to match on all the certificates that have been issued and signed by, by, the, by the CA, which is actually what we want. And we'll select that and click on OK. So now we're going to 48.02. On 48.02, we're going to do the same thing. We go to VPN. IPsec tunnels and we're going to change our authentication from appreciate key to signature and then specify the signature the digital certificate that we have we have been issued and here the PS certificate will also be oh actually here we can this doesn't matter you can call this anything you want and we're just going to specify here the CA as well. This basically means that we will trust all the users, all the devices that present certificates as long as they've been signed by this CA, irrespective of any other parameters. As long as they've been issued and signed by the CA, the CA that we trust, that we've installed in our certificate store, we're all good to go. We click on OK and select that. Now we go on to 48 3. On 48 3, we go and modify our VPN connection as well. Down to authentication, we change that from appreciate key to signature, and we specify our certificate, which is right at the bottom. And our peer would be, we will have to create a new one, say SR PKI. And the important part is specifying the domain controller or the uh, the certificate authority that signed or that we want to trust and we click on OK. And now it's time for us to check on our VPNs and let's see if we refresh and it looks like our VPN tunnel is up. We go to 482, let's refresh. That tunnel is up and if we do a basic reachability test, exec ping 10.10.10.10 which is this network here behind 481 and we have reachability. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.